All right, kids, gather around. Norman Gershen, CEO and co-founder of SaveNature.org and director of the Insect Discovery Lab is here this morning, and he brought some pretty amazing critters. Well, Norm, it's always good to see you, and it's always fun when you stop by, but it always freaks me out, too. <laughs> well, it's my favorite thing to do, and, and you know, Insect Palooza is coming up. I hope, and, you know, it's a free event. Right. And, of course, you know, you haven't lived till you've held something like an Eastern Lubber Grasshopper. And you should put your hand flat for just a moment. I'm going to come over to you. Okay. Just put, it up, put your hand flat. <laughs> oh, I have to put my hand just, out? Just flat. But flat. he moves. Just, no, just flat. Okay. okay. Oh, my God, he moves. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's moving. So, when yep. people come to Insect Palooza, uh -huh. they'll see something like this incredible insect mm -hmm. from the Everglades. Is he gonna and me? it's very sweet and very nice. And it's incredibly colorful. That's why I brought it. I brought it because when you have color like this, it means you don't jump. And when you have color like this, uh, red, yellow, orange, and black, it means don't eat me because I taste terrible. Okay. And so that's know. why we bring them out to all the classes in the Bay Area. I mean, this would be a good class for somebody like me who is afraid of insects, obviously, and yeah. it teaches you a little bit more about them and then you can get a little more comfortable with them, right? Well, and not just teaches you about them. You know, there's things such as, well, let's go to something in a size large. I, you know, when you say that, it scares me. This is a walking stick from Malaysia. Beautiful, actually. And it is incredible. And so when you think about insects, obviously rainforests come to mind, and that's what Save Nature does. We inspire children to save nature all around the world. Right. And this insect palooza is not going to be any different. In fact, we have some special award-winning chocolate chip cookies with mealworms and every time someone purchases one of those cookies 360 square feet of rainforest is saved oh. so you have to bring your appetite to insect palooza i mean it's a great cause it's definitely worthy of you know getting those chocolate chip cookies are they good <laughs> oh they're fabulous i make them of course they're good <laughs> of course no. of course and then then there's something like this this is something that will probably scare you at first but it's totally harmless okay but i don't have to touch it yeah you do no of course you do so put your hand flat again just put your hand flat again but it looks like it stings. Don't make me come out. It doesn't oh stink. My goodness, so this gracious. is a harmless walking stick. Breathe. And the way that it protects itself, it actually, you'll like this. Okay. It rolls up its abdomen to look like a scorpion. <laughs> I know. Look, it's it's pretending now. I know. But that's a great it way to protect to yourself. Seriously, it doesn't it to want to bite okay. you. <laughs> it's in fact, it's totally harmless. Okay, it's waving at you. Actually, yes, of course, it wants to come back. Yeah, it's saying please. But everyone that comes, lady. everyone that comes to Insect Palooza, <laughs> and I should tell you, this is in partnership with Umqua Bank, yes. and they've been really good to the SaveNature.org. I have to say, they're wonderful. They're they're reaching out to the community, and so this is our way of really giving back to the community and their way of giving back. And everyone that comes in, you can just pet her on the back. She feels really lovely. Uh -huh. Just pet her, she oh, feels a little I spongy. Oh, but I her already. <laughs> yeah, she does, she does feel spongy. She is a little spongy, but when people come to Insect Palooza, uh, not only do they want to see things like this, but they do want to see, these are, this is one of my favorites. <sighs> This is the harmless and quite lovely. This is the giant African millipede. Just pet it on the back. Okay, it feels good. really nice. It feels really lovely. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. kind of like a big roly-poly. It is like a big roly-poly. But these animals are incredibly important to nature. They're the ones that are creating all the good earth. It goes right through their body, and good earth is created. And uh, Save Nature, we go out and do 800, over 800 programs every year into the Bay Area inspiring children to save nature and that's the goal and that's the thing i mean you you teach so much about insects and why they're so important why are we so afraid of them well something happened to you uh <laughs> when you were like 10 years old and uh you know there's there was a spider in the bathroom and your father or mother rather than saying let's just put it outside dear right. they said oh my god there's a buick in the bathroom and so and so that one moment we can change Yes. We're changing it right now. Just pet her once again. Okay. She's well, literally quite nice. I mean, it still freaks me out, but yeah, I mean, it's not bad. I used to, I used to, you know, like roly polies. Right. And so that, that's, that's what happens. We have to stop that. Now I did bring something that I've never brought before. Okay. And uh, this is, this is an impressive animal. It's from the deserts of Arizona. It's, it's, it looks, it looks really scary. It's it does. not. This is called a, 
uh, a whip scorpion. Now, it, it's not a scorpion. And it sounds scary. It's just got a bad name and a bad <laughs> rap. But it it's actually has another name uh, because the way it protects itself, if something tries to eat it, they take their little tail and from the base of it up comes acetic acid, which mm. is vinegar. Okay. So this is also known as the vinegar rune. Oh. And so, uh, and it's also almost blind. So you see it's waving its front legs and that's the way it finds its way in the desert to find food. And uh, this is actually a, an amazing animal to hold. I mean, once you do this, you, all these others, it doesn't really matter anymore. You know, I'm going to let you have that amazing experience. I had experience. a feeling, okay. <laughs> because, no, but you, you always, you always are so wonderful, and you do teach me a lot about these insects, and I know that this is really beneficial for kids. Someday, someday, Norm, I'm not going to be freaked out by all of these. What are you looking for now? Oh, it's just, I didn't want it to get out. What is it? It's, it's, it's a very, very interesting animal. It comes from Madagascar. Mm -hmm. This is the Madagascar hissing cockroach, and of course, oh, yeah, no. it uh, hisses. And uh, that's the way it protects itself. But uh, it's really hard sometimes to hear them hiss. It's very low. But if something tries to eat them, they don't hiss from their mouth, though. Yeah. They hiss from their abdomens. Okay. And they squeeze their muscles, and out comes this little hissing sound. Well, I'm, I'm going to say hi from a distance. This is, this is a good one, though. This is a really good one here. Just for a moment. Oh, Just no, for a you're moment. killing Just for a moment. me. Oh, my God. There okay. Go. There it is. So while I do this, I'm going to... I'm going to remind everybody at home, sorry, I can't even March speak 9th. right now. Insect, <laughs> Insect Palooza Family Science Day, it's happening on March 9th. It's from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Umqua Bank. Do not forget about it. Located at 415 DeHaro Street, that's in San Francisco. And it's March 9th. Okay, here you go. Here's okay, I'll take back. it back. <sighs> okay, coming up, we have a lot coming up. A Soar Optimist International of San Francisco with Bay Area Focus returns in just a moment.